you were saying? Sprite. Sprite, good. The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. Once the NBA's official drink, you know Sprite as the favorite lemon-lime soda among basketball players and average consumers alike. That being said, there are some facts you might not know about the sparkling citrus sensation. So let's shake things up with the top 10 untold truths of Sprite soda drink. Sprite is made by Coca-Cola. Do you really want to live in a world without Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola and Sprite are both made by the Coca-Cola company. This comes as a surprise to people who think that Coke and Sprite are engaged in some sort of bitter rivalry. And for good reason. Big companies will often pit their own products against each other as a way to bolster sales. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Because you're too caught up in rooting for whichever soda you think is better, you don't really notice that they're manufactured by the exact same company, allowing them to pocket more money from each side of the rivalry. Coca-Cola also manufactures Fanta, meaning that most of the sodas in your workplace vending machine or in movie theaters are Coca-Cola owned. They've even branched out to non-sparkling beverages, owning recognizable brands such as Minute Maid, Dasani, and Powerade. It's said that Coca-Cola even manufactures a type of canned soup that is only sold in Japan. What? No soup for you! Making it nearly omnipresent around the globe. With connections in 200 countries, Sprite is only the tip of the Coca-Cola company iceberg. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! The original Sprite was made in Germany. Say what? You might think of Sprite as being an all-American beverage, but the first Sprite was actually made in West Germany in 1959. The original Sprite was originally named Fanta Clair Zitron and was created to be a clear, lemon-lime variant of its predecessor, Fanta. Though Fanta was originally made during World War II to serve as a substitute to Coca-Cola due to shortages in Germany at the time, The Coke! Where is it? It had gained its own notoriety among consumers for its distinct taste. While Fanta had been around since the 1940s, the Coca-Cola company likely sought to expand their flavor line to compete with rival brands that were beginning to pop up. While Fanta Clair Zitron has technically existed since 1959, it didn't gain its famous name until 1961, when it was marketed as Sprite to United States consumers. Sprite was well received upon its release, gaining popularity especially among adult customers. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty Sprite. The Coca-Cola company had worked hard to advertise Sprite everywhere, and it reached 39 countries by 1967. Despite its initial success, it wasn't until the 1980s that our favorite lemon-lime soda finally caught on with kids and teenagers, becoming popular amidst younger audiences. Nowadays, it seems like Sprite is more popular among kids and teenagers than grown-ups, but that doesn't mean you can't sneak a bottle or two as an adult. Maybe we should have a drink. It's a pretty good idea. Sprite knows how to market itself. Thank you. Though most sodas tend to release limited edition cans to build up hype around their product and connect with consumers better on an aesthetic level, Sprite seems to do this better than any other soda on the market. I am the smart. I am the smart. Seriously, other soft drink brands need to take notes on how Sprite hypes up their products from collaborating and shooting commercials with the NBA to having famous graffiti artists design can art to welcome in the new millennium, the Coca-Cola company sure does know how to market their products in an attractive way. Shut up, baby, I know it. Another promo that occurred in recent years was the inclusion of famous rap lyrics on the side of Sprite cans. With a few different lyrics in circulation, consumers could pick the best lyric that corresponds with whatever artist they like best, or better yet, collect them all, making Sprite have value not only as a beverage, but as a collector's item. This seems to have become a trend with the Coca-Cola company's products, with the Share a Coke campaign bringing about a similar reaction from consumers. That's incredible. <sighs> That's amazing! Sprite's original competitor was 7-Up. Knew it. Stop letting him make you realize stuff. People nowadays may think that Sprite was the original lemon-lime soda, seeing as it tends to get more media attention and sell much better than 7-Up. However, the introduction of Sprite was caused by the existence of 7-Up in the first place. You made me! Fanta Clair Zitron was created to directly compete with the clear, lemon-lime flavor of 7-Up, which had existed for a few decades longer. Introduced in 1929, 7-Up was originally called Bib Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda. What the hell was that? The original recipe for 7-Up contained lithium, a mineral used in the early years of modern medicine to treat mental illness. The carbonated water paired with the added ingredients and in sodas were thought to have healing properties that were easier for patients to swallow than normal medicine. 
Though Sprite was introduced too late into the 20th century for it to be used for medical purposes, it's interesting to think that other sodas in the same family were tempted to compete with one another, not only for better flavor, but for healing properties as well. My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a diet Sprite. There have been 17 different Sprites. Want a Sprite cranberry? Sprite may be known for its refreshing citrus flavor, but the brand has also branched out several times to include new exciting flavors to complement what they already have going for them. Sprite's signature flavor is described by its manufacturers as Lyman. Uh, holiday hoobie wadi. A term used to describe the combination of lemon and lime present in the soda. The Lyman flavoring of Sprite already has a huge following, with fans being present in all countries across the globe. However, Sprite has managed to introduce new variations of their soda that manage to hold a candle to the original recipe. Okay, this is good. With zero sugar Sprite Zero, Sprite Cranberry, and Sprite Ginger managing to withstand the hype that seems to follow the OG Sprite everywhere. Though you can find these flavors of Sprite pretty easily in stores or online, the special edition versions may be more difficult to come by. The most notable of these limited edition soft drinks was when Sprite collaborated with NBA legend LeBron James to create Sprite Six Mix in 2014, which earned the brand a lot of hype upon its release. Sprite Six Mix stuck to its roots by holding true to the original lemon-lime flavor, while adding splashes of cherry and orange to mix things up. Sprite and LeBron James fans alike love the beverage, proving that keeping things simple and sticking to your roots is the best way to make a fresh take on a cherished beverage. This is new! The Sprite Remix Mishap What have I done? Introduced in 2002 as a way to keep up with the trend of bizarre and unique sodas that were saturating the market, Sprite Remix wasn't one particular flavor, but rather an entire new line of tastes. Now I get it! Tropical, Berry, and Aruba Jam, whatever that is, being the three newcomers. Not only that, but the Coca-Cola company expanded further and added a line of DIY flavor packets, allowing you to change any drink into a Sprite Remix drink easily. This was likely to compete with other sugary drink mixes like Kool-Aid, but it proved to be unsuccessful. Though Sprite Remix seemed like a good idea in theory, the execution was subpar. Because it was awful. It was crap! leading to it being discontinued in 2005. Sprite Remix is the epitome of the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Though Sprite Remix has been off the shelves for over a decade now, it may be making a comeback. Sprite reintroduced Sprite Tropical Remix in 2015, with new branding that kept the lemon-lime flavor at the forefront. Finally! Its name is also a mythical creature. A nymph, naiad, wood sprite. Sprites have existed in legends and myths for far longer than this soda's been around. Sprites are said to be fairy-like creatures and can be found in European folklore. Knowing that the beverage originated from a European country, it makes sense that the name would derive from a reoccurring figure in folktales native to that area. Sprites are often associated with water and air, and use powers portraying to both elements to help or hinder help. weary travelers, which fits perfectly with the refreshing, bubbly beverage we all know and love. It seems that the folklore behind Sprite has also made its way into their advertising campaigns too. Advertisements for Sprite in the UK feature phrases like Only one Sprite's right and pick the right Sprite, which likely alludes to the mischievous nature of the fairies that give this soft drink its name. Similar to the left Twix versus right Twix advertisement campaign that occurred in recent years, the advertisement urged consumers to choose the right Sprite for them, even though they were guaranteed to get a refreshing lemon-lime drink no matter what. This is another clever trick Sprite used to get their brand more attention, while still going back to acknowledge the mythical meaning behind its name. Get the right Sprite. Sprite can cure your hangover. And do they have booze at these meetings? Uh... If you've woken up early after a fun night feeling like you're about to keel over, a Sprite might just be the trick to cure your hangover. A study conducted at a Chinese university compared the effects of 57 different soft drinks on hangovers, finding that Sprite actually helped with nausea and headaches, which go hand in hand with a few too many drinks. What did you do last night? Last night? Um... You might be wondering why Sprite managed to perform better than other sodas, considering most of them have similar ingredients. Sprite contains a chemical called acetaldehyde, um, phrasing, which can relieve symptoms commonly associated with hangovers. However, this was only proven effective if the chemical was consumed in large amounts. Though it's hard to determine the validity of this experiment, the results can give you an incentive to try and beat your hangover in a new way. 
and seeing as hangovers have a reputation for being incurable, it's definitely worth a try. With that being said, it may be a smart move to stock up on Sprite before your big night out. The carbonation of Sprite paired with the lemon-lime flavor can help you if you're feeling a bit queasy. Carbonated beverages tend to make you burp, releasing built-up pressure in your stomach that may otherwise cause nausea and pain. <laughs> Did you hear that? A woman survived on Sprite. You what? Though it may sound like something straight out of a best-selling dystopian novel, a woman actually managed to survive solely by consuming Sprite for a few days. A 75-year-old grandmother dodged an animal while driving on a road, <laughs> causing her to swerve and get her car stuck in a ravine. The woman, Wanda Mobley, had been making a long drive to meet with her family members and had packed three cans of Sprite to keep her going during her trip. Trapped inside her vehicle, the woman was forced to survive on her own for two whole days. Two days? And managed to do so by drinking three cans of Sprite alongside dirty water from the runoff of the ravine. With no cell phone service, she was unable to call for help and waited for 48 hours to be found by authorities. Luckily, she managed to survive. But the fact this woman was able to do so by drinking only Sprite is super impressive. Though it's sad to hear that this ever happened to someone in the first place and was likely a horrific experience, it would be interesting to know how Sprite reacted when the news broke all across the internet about a woman managing to live off their product. It may not have been the best for Sprite's PR, but it is relieving to know that this woman had her favorite soda with her at just the right time. You can bake with Sprite. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. The next time you're hungry for some home-baked sweets, consider adding Sprite to your recipe. Though it may sound completely weird at first to put soda in your cake mix, tons of online recipes say that using Sprite in your baked goods is a great way to add some lemony, limey sweetness to whatever you're making. Even better, most baking recipes that use Sprite are super easy to make, especially if you use a pre-prepared mix. If you're not much of a baker but still want to make some delicious cupcakes, you can use Sprite alongside the cupcake mix of your choice for an easy two-ingredient treat, or add it to a yellow cake mix for a simple dessert to take to your next potluck party or birthday bash. Baked it myself, words and all. With lemon poppy seed cakes and lemon meringue pies being super popular among sweet tooth consumers everywhere, I brought brownies. Brownies! <laughs> It makes sense that a slightly tart, citrusy soda like Sprite would be a great way to add a little zing to your vanilla-flavored or yellow cakes, especially if it's as easy as pouring directly into the mixing bowl. The taste of baked goods mixed with Sprite is also affected by the carbonation, which reacts with ingredients like baking soda or baking powder. The release of carbon dioxide gas when this reaction occurs makes cakes less dense, giving them a fluffier and lighter texture. Quench that thirst for more great videos and tap that screen, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.